Hi, my name is Liam. Welcome to the Local Guy Liam channel here on YouTube. This channel is dedicated to all things New Smyrna Beach, Florida. I'm lucky enough to live here, so I give you the inside scoop on the best things to see and do during your next visit here. Whether it's your first time or you've been here before, I can give you some inside information maybe you didn't know before, maybe save you some time along the way as well. Today we're going to continue our, uh, our review of the Volusia Beaches app. This is Beach Pro Tips video number two out of three. Be sure to catch all three in the series so you get all the information you need to know about uh, driving on the beach, parking by the beach, whatever. Uh, so uh, today we're going to cover a lot of information about off-beach parking and all you need to know about where the lots are at, what, what kind of, you know, how many spaces are available there, maybe whatever. Uh, restrooms, lifeguards, all kinds of things we're going to cover uh, for getting on the beach. So stay tuned, let's get, let's get back into the air. Okay, this, is, um, this video is part two of three, reviewing the Volusia Beaches app. And uh, I'm gonna have pro tips again along the way here on getting on the beach. Today we're gonna start off looking at off beach parking. So we're in the app here. I'm gonna click on, I believe it's under vehicle access. Off beach parking. This refers to parking lots that are you know, obviously not parking on the beach, but you're parking close to the beach. This gives you access. That way you, you don't need to pay the fee, or if the beaches are full, this is another option. Uh, again, these are typically these are paved lots. You're paying twenty dollars to park there. Make sure you do park there. You pay the fee because they they do enforce it uh, tightly. So make sure you pay the fee only from nine to five. You know, nine a.m. to five p.m. Though, do not pay after five p.m. or before eight. But if you're there, if, you, if your car is there between nine and five, uh, make sure you pay because they do enforce it strictly. So off beach parking, we're gonna filter down below here on New Smyrna Beach. And we're gonna get a list of off, off beach parking lots. Uh, these are going from north to south in order here. They have icons showing whether it's the you know, restrooms. I think they all have restrooms. I think they all have picnic tables or pretty much all, but a couple there. Um, a couple of them have playgrounds. So these are all, again, fee-based fee parking. I think the, actually the uh, Hiles East and West may be free, uh, but the rest of them are fee-based parking. So um, these typically, again, are paved lots and they're close to the beach. It tells you how many parking spaces each uh, location has. You know, it's not a lot, but uh, they're if, you know, they're close to the beach, so they're good access. They all have good restroom facilities there. Again, picnic tables, covered picnic tables, and uh, and they're close to the beach. Um, click on the, you can click on any one of these to get some information about them. This tells you where they're at. And that way you can uh, get directions to that location. So, again, the one here, the first one here, Smyrna Dunes Park, actually is part of a a, it's a park that you pay a fee to get into and note that the parking there is not, not close to the beach There's a dog beach there which is parking is somewhat close to but the other the main beach uh you have a boardwalk you have to walk uh probably half a mile or so to get to the beach there is a again a boardwalk so you could if a wagon or something is doable or you want to go for a walk but it's not not the best choice for uh accessibility to the beach otherwise it is a great park though uh the one rest of them on here okay so the one I use most often is this Marianne Clancy Park. Because Flagler Avenue Park, again, is the main one. Flagler Avenue is where everybody goes. So that one fills up. That one's full all the time. You may get lucky and get a spot if someone's pulling out. Um, but it's hard to get a spot there. So I usually park at Marianne Clancy Park, which is about half a mile, maybe less, south of Flagler Avenue. Um, it very seldom fills up. It's a good lot. But I will say that it's, it's hard to find. You, you want to use the directions on that one because even when I know it's there, if you're going by, you're going to miss it. It's a very small entrance and it's marked, but you'll be, you'll be past it before you realize it. So, uh, and that's true about me. Well, most of these are pretty well marked, but that's the one that's hardest probably to, to find is the Clancy Park. It's a very uh, small entrance and it's kind of hidden. So um, check the directions on that one to go to that one. Um, Otherwise, yeah, these are all, all good locations for parking. And depending on what you're looking for, um, 
they're a good option. The flag rabbits got the most most spots. Well, I guess twenty seven's got the most. Um, but there's you know twenty seven is a good one. There's a, there's a larger playground there. That's probably the biggest playground. That's what you're looking for. Okay, that's off beach parking. Let's take a look at pedestrian access. We're going to go back here. Main menu, pedestrian access. This is a way to get on the beach, like walking across, they call them a dunes walkover. It's a boardwalk from the, from our parking area, typically, to to the beach. So it, it may be, it's a walk over the dunes, so it's, cl it's close to time to the beach, obviously. But the parking is very limited, typically, at these spots. And it's not paved, and you have to carry your stuff. But uh, I'm going to filter here. You can filter by your location. These are all the parking, all the pedestrian access spots. Again, these Smyrna Dunes Park ones are part of the park. You have to pay a fee to get in there. So we're going to skip those for right now. Uh, okay, we're starting from uh, north to south. There's quite a few, as you can see. There's got to be 25, probably, or whatever, maybe more, uh, maybe more uh, access points. When you get down to the bottom, we're going to get down to Canaveral State Park. That's also a paid fee park. It's a great park. It's, the beaches there are very quiet. If you're looking for a quiet beach, that's a place to go. Um, they, only, they have restrooms, but they don't, that's about all they have there. Um, but it's, a great, it's also a great park in general, but that's where they're, if you want a quiet beach to yourself, that's an option down there. The rest of these... Uh, pretty much is hey dune walkovers. Uh, they don't they don't show the parking out here, but typically it's very limited. We'll click on one of these for a map, for example, here. And I'll show you where it's located. Yeah. So, again, there's a lot of these beach walkover points. Uh, again, they they can be hard to find as well. So I use the map to find the locations. Some of them have more parking than others. Um, it doesn't show on here, but again, there's a lot of ways to access the beach. You know, almost every street here has got an access point to the beach. So there's plenty of ways to get on from walking. Uh, so just be familiar with that. Um, some of these have uh, ADA access. They've got ramps. There's, most of them are stairs, but I got, quite a few of them also have uh, have ramp access as well. Just something to be aware of. Okay, next we're going to cover the beach parks. Uh, right, right here. These are parks that are located near the beach. We're going to filter on New Smyrna Beach. These are access point. I mean, these are beach parks going again north to south. That will uh, tell you again the, the, the par how much parking is there and the facilities they have. That we pretty much covered that in the previous uh, with the parking off beach parking. It's a lot of it's the same information. So that's what we're going to cover in this, this section here. Hope we got got some good information out of that and. Uh, Stay tuned for uh, video three in the series for the we'll wrap up the remainder of the uh, features on the app. Also, there will be maps attached to this video to um, showing all the various beach access points as well for your reference. Okay, this was that wraps up part two of the three parts on, on beach pro tips. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got some good information out of that. If you haven't watched part one already, please go back and do that. Follow along, watch part three to get everything you need to know about the uh, Lucia Beaches app and uh, access to the beach. So thanks again for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. If you want to stay in touch with all things Local Guy Liam, click on subscribe. That'll keep you in touch with all the new videos coming out. Uh, feel free to add comments below. Whether it's questions about New Sabrina Beach, or about this video content. Um, follow local guy Liam on social media. Stay current with all the events going on in New Smyrna Beach. I'll give you all the best tips you need. Well, thanks again for stopping by. Have an A1A day, and I will see you on the beach.